from 93, the Ignite Your Purpose podcast from Canada and Ironmanville. <laughs> yeah, I love man. Bill. Uh, episode 93, we're back again. Thank you for tuning in. Max and I, we talk uh, health through a, so we talk longevity through a healthy lifestyle. Uh, it's a combination of the mind, the body, and, and the soul. It's the mind, body, soul trifecta, however you want to call it. That's what we do. That's what we juggle. Should have written that down. It's our new thing. Negative to positive. <laughs> Negative to positive. It's all in the journey. You know, I'd rather take six years to get this right than six minutes because if we do it that way, it's the long term and it's the long haul. Um, we, <clears throat> good afternoon, Max. Hope you're well. Uh, we spoke yesterday briefly about, um, about patience and, and having the patience and having the patience to not to upload and download and do all these things now because of our own anxieties or wishes to accelerate this process sooner than it's naturally going to be. Um, and off the back of that, I'd like to talk about a kind of perspective. I, I heard a story, read an article, and it was about um, our perspective of time. And, and the example here is that the, the guy, uh, he was in his mid-40s, parents were kind of, let's say, 70 years old, 75 years old. Let's call it 70. And, the, and he sees his mum and dad once a year. He'll take a trip. He'll spend two or three weeks with them. And that's it, once a year, even if it was that long. Uh, and the interviewer said, right, well, if your mum is 70 and they're going to live till they're 78, you are going to see your parents eight more times in your life. Wow. That's, uh, that's pretty humbling. Eight more times. And the guy was, he was kind of lost for words. And it, and it makes you think, you know, about that. Oh, I'm supposed to go see mom on the weekend, but I'll do it next weekend. Or I'm supposed to go into well, whatever it is in your life. is the fact that we, uh, you know, we, we think we've got this infinite amount of time because we live day by day. It's, the only, it's about the only time a few of us are kind of living in the moment because we think about it today. But yep. time is so short. Uh, and in that example, for seeing your parents, you get to see your mum eight more times. It just brings those questions to the uh, the front of part of your brain, the, to the consciousness. So I was just wondering what Max, if he had any uh, any comments on that. Oh man, I, I uh, it was a long weekend here in Canada. So last night, my my other half and I snuggled up and watched a movie on Netflix, and I can't remember the name, but. Um, it was, uh, I cried the whole friggin' movie, bro. And it was exactly about this. Now there's that balance that I, I, I want to talk about too, because there is, there is the weight, right? The yin and the yang, there's that waiting. Okay. It's got to be pretty decent to get it out. You got to hone your craft. There is patience, but at the same time, you know, life is, is so, so, so finite, you know, yeah. and, and, and how do you juggle everything? Like you said, seeing my parents, uh, pursuing my goals, dreams, hopes, aspirations, taking care of this, taking care of that, taking care of my body, my mind, my soul. Um, we're torn in so many ways. You know, how do you, how do you fit it all in? Right. That's, that's the balance I'm talking about for, for, for myself as I hear this. And it's, you know, in the end, John and I talked about this yesterday. So in the end, if, if I'm not here tomorrow, and there's 150 episodes sitting on either of our computers and we never pushed send. Prince. Yeah. Prince died Prince. with over 6,000 songs. Yeah. Probably by choice. Don't get me twisted. I don't know if he wanted to re release them or not, but you know, Purple Rain might not have been his best song. And I don't know if that's, you know what I'm saying? He might've had, well, he definitely did in that vault of songs have way more amazing stuff yes. that none of us will get to experience. So we're, are we doing a disservice to ourselves, those around us? Because in the end, when we're sitting on a rocking chair at the last breath, we know we were, we were supposed to be of service to others in this lifetime, right? So yeah. does that mean seeing your mom and dad 10 times instead of eight, right? And just, just shutting the F up. And we all know we've got our, our problems with our parents and our siblings and our coworkers and just being there for them, you know? So to kind of tie yesterday's show 92... Uh, patience you must have and today it's 
on those occasions and on those instances where it is super important for you. And I know we talk about balance and taking it easy and being mellow and, but on those things that are important, it's not about putting the hard work. It's about putting a massive amount of work in to achieve those things that are important to you. And when we go for launching new businesses, launching new ideas, learning new skills, it is going to be hard and we might go backwards before we go forwards, but if it's worth that much to you and you get that much value from that particular effort, just put in that massive amount of effort. I'd like to get healthy. So instead of just, I can still have my can of Coke if I have a banana in the morning, just go all in, go fucking all in and just see what you can, you can achieve. And don't think about, I've got to do this forever. I'm going to put this hard work in, this effort in today. Then I'm going to do it tomorrow. And then that day you wake up, I'm going to do it again. And before you know it, it's a habit or it's a behavior. But likewise, understanding why you're doing these things and not blasting through because of ego or because of impatience or because you just want to not bother doing the hard work. So there's lots of kind of... um, yin and yang sort of statements in there but on those things that are important oh is that time out no no that's the yin, the yin and the yang meaning you can't have one without the other right yeah yeah they're all connected so uh so there we go. you know and i and i personally definitely learned that level learn that lesson you know when it comes to work right I've, we've talked about this before like people who just and hey if you love what you're doing that is amazing right so if you if you're all work and nothing else you know, the, the, the house of cards can't sustain itself. You know, we all need that balance. And it's something I, I had to learn, especially coming from the, the background I did, right? Like, I didn't know what a vacation was. I didn't know what days off were. It was just work, work, work. And that, that'll kill you quick too, right? So, yeah. or you could be yeah. on the other side. You could be never making any money and not having anything. So you, we all need that balance. But to, yeah. put, to put that finite, dude, you're only going to be in this pocket for so long, get at it, whatever yeah. that pocket is. And uh, as much as you all say, aim for balance. Balance is imperfect. The very nature of it means the whole world continues to evolve for every moment. So you may get to that. I've got it. And then some of the tips. I had one today, animal out. And the whole world spins up and then you start again. And that's what it's that's about. It. Not giving up and starting again. And aiming for that, that that level of not happiness or peace or balance, just contentment. I am content with my life right now. And tomorrow, fuck knows. But today, <laughs> I'm, in this moment, I'm content. And you know what? Take away this. We, we're not even promised tomorrow, but we all live like we are. Yeah. And that's that balance again, right? Yeah, ride it to the Ride it to the wheels fall off, baby. Something we yeah. gotta all do every day. Yeah, so on, on that note, uh, as always, we thank you for tuning in. You could be anywhere in the world. I'm in the Isle of Man, he's in Canada, you guys are other places, but we thank you and we appreciate you. And we will see you at some point tomorrow. Bye. Thanks, guys.